Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you some of the best shortcut keys while presenting in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, all these things that I'm gonna to show today, you can access these through menus or by right-clicking, but when you're presenting in PowerPoint, the last thing you wanna do in front of your audience is pull up a menu or have to fumble through different settings trying to find one of these controls. Instead, I'm gonna show you the best shortcut keys that if you remember these, you can make your presentation much more effective. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and I'll show you some of the best shortcut keys. Here I am in Microsoft PowerPoint, and this is the latest and greatest version that comes with Microsoft 365. Even if you're using an older version of PowerPoint, shortcut keys haven't changed very much over time, so you should still be able to follow along. And speaking of following along, if you wanna follow along with me as I run through this, I have a link to this very slide deck that I'm using in the description. You can open that up and then follow along with this presentation. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump into presentation mode and show some of these shortcut keys. And to jump into presentation mode in the spirit of shortcut keys, I'm gonna use a shortcut key to launch the presentation. I could click this button, but I could use a shortcut key. And we're gonna press F5 or the function five key to jump into presentation mode. And that's gonna bring us to our very first shortcut key that you could use while presenting in PowerPoint. You could press the W key on your keyboard and that will shift the slide to white. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's press W and here you see it, my slide is white. Here I'll press it again and that will bring me back to the slide that I was on. Now this is very effective if let's say you're presenting some content and then you want your audience to focus on you instead of the slide, you could shift that focus. Also a presentation I attended a few years back, the presenter used this very effectively where she threw up an image of a website design and there had been a change to the website design that we all had previously known. And what she did is she put it up for an instant, she hit the W key to hide it, and then we had to guess what had changed with it. So kind of a neat technique that you could use while presenting. And like I said before in the intro, one thing you could do as I move my mouse here, you see all these controls appear at the bottom. If I click on this menu, I could go to screen. And here too, I could indicate that I wanted to shift to a white screen. But then again, I have to pull up this menu. I have to fumble through it. Using shortcut keys is simply much more effective and streamlined, especially when you're presenting in front of an audience. And that brings us to our next one. So not only can you shift the screen to white by pressing W, you could also press B to toggle the screen to black. So you effectively turn off the presentation. And then here I bring it back by pressing B again. So another nice way to have the audience focus on you instead of the content. You could choose whether you wanna use W or B depending on the color that you want. Now this next one is a fun one. What you could do is oftentimes when you're presenting, someone might say, oh, could you go back to this slide or could you go back to that slide? An easy way to jump around your slide deck is you simply press the number of the slide followed by the enter key. So if I wanna go back to my first slide, which was about turning the screen to white, I press one and then enter. Go to my second slide, two and enter, and back to the third slide, three and enter. Another way I could also jump around in my slides, if maybe I don't remember the particular number, I could press Control S and that brings up all my slides, especially if I title my slides something more descriptive than slide one, I could very easily find the slide. And let's say I wanna go back to two, click on go to, and then I'll jump back to that slide. So the slide selector is also a very nice way to navigate throughout my presentation without having to click through all of the slides. Now the next one, this is a fun one to be able to mark up your slides. So let's say that here's a teacher and she's teaching French, uncle, father, and mother. Let's say I wanna annotate this slide. I press control P. The reason we're pressing P is because P stands for pen, and then I can annotate the slide. So maybe I say, okay, class, make sure you pay attention to this. And you wanna have the ma because that's my. And so whatever your talk track is along with your slide, you could insert that on. And so here I'm adding a whole bunch of markup. And if you press Control E, 
E for eraser, that'll bring up the eraser tool, and then I could delete parts of my markup. But let's say I really just wanna delete everything or erase everything, I could press E and that'll get rid of all of my markup on the slide. Now you see I currently have the eraser. If I wanna get rid of the eraser, I simply press Control E again, and that'll send me back to my arrow. Similarly, if I'm on Control P and I no longer wanna annotate, I simply press Control P again, and then it returns back to the mouse. So quick way to annotate your slides. Some other controls that you could also use to annotate your slide, you could press Control I and what that'll do is that brings up the highlighter. So let's say this, uh, this lady here is writing on the whiteboard and maybe I wanna highlight the 82 and say, hey class, pay attention to this area down here. I could highlight it. And if I wanna bring my arrow key back, once again, I could press Control I again and that will toggle off the highlighter and control A if I wanna bring my arrow back or control A and there it is. Now the reason the eye goes with highlighter, so if I bring it up, you'll notice that the highlighter is a straight line. It looks similar to an eye. So that's an easy way to remember that eye goes along with highlighter because it looks like the highlighting tool. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's bring the mouse back and here too I could even use E to erase everything or I, I could press Control E to bring up my eraser tool. On the next one, one thing that people frequently like doing in a presentation is you wanna point out different areas of your slide or you want people to focus on certain areas and you could use the laser pointer. Control L brings up the laser pointer and so here I have a red laser pointer. I could say, hey, using my laser pointer, look at this laser, look at this laser, it's a blue laser and then look at this third laser, this is a green laser. So I could use a laser to call out a laser. Uh, kind of reminds me of Inception. Um, I have this blue halo around. This is a cursor highlighter, highlighter that I'm using that's unassociated with PowerPoint, but just to help you know where I'm pointing. And then here too, if I wanna get rid of the laser, I press Control L, that'll return me to the mouse. Um, if I click Control L again, I could also press Control A to bring my arrow key back. So another shortcut key um, that I can use. Now, one of my favorites is, let's say you're showing a slide here, and can everyone find the tiger in this photo? If not, maybe I could zoom in and that might help. Uh, all I have to do is press the plus key on my keyboard, and that will zoom me in, and then I could use my mouse to pull around the zoomed image. Uh, or to pan around the image. So here I am, that's as far as I can zoom in, and hopefully all of you can see the tiger now. If you, if you still can't see the tiger, I don't know what to say, I won't be able to help you, but that's as close as I can get. Now, let's say you're all zoomed in and you wanna pull back out, you could press the minus key to zoom back out, and here I'm zoomed back to the original state. If I keep zooming out though, I could continue zooming out, and if I zoom out all the way, this will bring me out to the slide sorter, and I could even zoom out even more to make my slide sorter smaller and smaller, and that's as far out as I can zoom and once again I can zoom back in or here I could click on the slide I want to go to so this is another way to quickly navigate to slides in your presentation so I'm going to jump back into this slide Another nice one that's new in PowerPoint is the ability to show subtitles as you're presenting and to turn on subtitles, what you do is you press J so I'm going to hit the J key and you see down below it says starting subtitles if I continue speaking, you will see my text appear on the screen. Let's see how good of a job it does at transcribing what I'm saying. All right, well, that actually did a pretty good job at transcribing my text, but uh, just hit the J key to turn on subtitles and you could press J again to turn off subtitles. And in the settings before you turn on your presentation, you have the ability to select what language you want the subtitles to appear in. Uh, so there are some uh, configuration settings that you have control over. Jumping into the next one, another nice one that you could use, right now you see my mouse on the slide. Sometimes you don't want your mouse to appear, and so what you do is if you press Control and H at the same time, so I'm gonna press Control and H, you'll see that my mouse disappeared. Now once again, I'm using this cursor highlighter, so you do still see the halo around where the mouse would be, and the H stands for hide. Now if I press Control A for arrow, that'll bring, the, uh, that'll bring my cursor back, or what I could do is I'm gonna hide the cursor again. I could also press Control U 
and control U will also bring my cursor back. There it is. So both of those ways bring my cursor back and the U goes along with unhide. Um, so that's one way to remember it or control A, A is arrow. Uh, that's another way to remember to bring your cursor or your arrow back on the screen. And I have a big iceberg in back because much of it is hidden under the water. You only see, I think it's something like a 10th of the iceberg is above and then nine tenth is below the water. Um, so just went along with this uh, hiding and showing. Okay, and then I went through all of these different shortcut keys. If you don't remember what they are, the one that you should remember and the one that will unlock all the others is pressing the F1 key. F stands for function. Those are the keys on the top of your keyboard. And if I press F1, what that'll do is it brings up slideshow help. And here I can see all of the different shortcut keys. All of the general shortcut keys, these are likely the ones you'll use most often or have to do with navigation of the slides. You also have a set of re uh, rehearse and record shortcut keys that you could use. You have shortcut keys related to media. Let's say you have a video uh, embedded in your PowerPoint presentation or you have a song, you could use these shortcut keys to control that. You also have all of the ink and laser pointer shortcut keys, which we ran through. And then lastly, if you have a touch display, you could also use gestures on your keyboard or if you have your touchpad, you could use these different gestures to advance or zoom in or zoom out on your presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on OK. And that brings us to the end of this presentation. And it also brings me to the last shortcut key that I wanna share with all of you. When you reach the end and you wanna exit your presentation, simply press the escape key and that will bring you back into PowerPoint. And that is the last shortcut key that I wanted to show. Now we went through this presentation and I had lots of very beautiful imagery and it did not take me long to insert this. And best of all, all of this, uh, all of these images that I used, these are royalty free. I could use them in my presentation without any problem. And I wanna show where I got these from. So within PowerPoint, this is something new that was added recently. If I go up onto these tabs at the top or the pivots, I'm gonna click on the one that says insert. And if I go to pictures, in the past I've been able to insert pictures from my device or online pictures, there's now a new option called stock images. If I click on stock images, this allows me to insert royal free, royalty free images into my PowerPoint presentation. And you might even notice some of the images that I used in my presentation. Now the nice thing is you could also search for different images. So I'll type in football players. That was one of the suggestions. If I type in football players here, I see all of the stock images related to football players. So search will help me find images that relate to whatever my slide content is on. And when I was pulling together this presentation, I tried to find images that connected to the different shortcut keys that I was demoing. Not only can you just insert stock images, they also have cut out people, which is kind of fun. Uh, so let's say I wanna insert this uh, person into one of my slides. It's a cut out picture, meaning that they have a transparent background and maybe I wanna have them on my the end slide. She kind of has a smug look like it would be the end of my slide presentation. If I go back to stock images again, some of the other things that I get, not only do I get a ton of cut out people, they even have a category for Kevin. Let's see what they think Kevin looks like. Okay, so this is Kevin. I'm a guy in a wheelchair. Uh, but here I'll go back to icons and here are a whole bunch of different icons that I could insert into my presentation. Uh, so this is also a very nice thing. And then lastly, I also have different stickers that I can insert and then they have different categories of stickers that I could insert into my presentation. So a nice way to add some richness to your slide deck. All right, well that was a quick example of how you could use shortcut keys in Microsoft PowerPoint. Hopefully by using them, you won't have to fumble through the menus to get to these different controls. If you think you might use these shortcut keys when you present in Microsoft PowerPoint, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.